Hello YouTubers, uh, today I'm working on a 2008 FJ Cruiser Toyota. I'm putting a fuel pump in it. Excuse my dog there, but I, I want to show y'all a little tip here. Uh, I've noticed uh, I've already pulled the gas tank. I'm sure uh, your do-it-yourselfers have done this. Uh, got the uh, New, new fuel pump put in there and there's some people talking about buying special tools I've always managed to use a big screwdriver and a hammer to get the top ring off uh, and when you go back with them I always clean them real good and put some grease around the threads so they screw in easier but what I wanted to show y'all is this uh, tip uh, on this wiring harness that goes uh, to the fuel pump. I'll show you what I did instead of tearing up the whole back back end of the uh, car to get to this harness uh, because uh, from the factory the harness up here is very very short and uh, you, you just don't have it's only got uh, oh what is that it's about two and a half inches of wiring so it's not long enough to reach in here and release this to get it disconnected from the fuel pump so I normally don't do this now but I went ahead instead of tearing up the whole back end of the car inside to get to that little plate right there that little cover I cut the wiring and I never do that but I just wanted to show you, I did cut the wiring. I extended the wiring. You can see it's it's extended. Let me go back here. You've got, now you've got, oh, what is that? About seven, eight, seven inches, a little bit longer than seven inches wiring. Uh, and if you do do this, what I always do, I never use those connectors. I always, solder my wiring and heat shrink them but I thought I'd do this video this short video here and show you what I did and and it, it's fine as long as you solder the wires and 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 insulate them good which I'm fixing to uh, tape all this up make it one harness here one big harness uh, then you will never have an issue but uh, I just wanted to show this little tip that might help some people out. I've noticed there's not much information on the YouTube channels on this stuff. But uh, anyway, maybe that'll help somebody out. Uh, and like I say, if you solder them, you'll never have a problem. You just want to make sure you get a good solder connection with those wires. And make sure they're insulated real good. But okay. Talk to y'all later.